So just a quick uh, reminder of how this country is always going to be a right wing country. Uh, unfortunately, sadly, um, uh, in my state of Pennsylvania, uh, there's a governor's race between a pretty standard run of the mill liberal by the name of Josh Shapiro uh, versus some God, this guy is a mess. Doug Mastriano. <laughs> Words fail me how awful this guy is. This guy was literally on the Capitol January 6th taking orders to overthrow the United States government from Donald Trump. Okay. This guy... <laughs> There's pictures of this guy floating around of him being a Civil War LARPer uh, for, not for the Union, but for the Confederacy. That's right. LARPing as a Confederate soldier in actual Confederate soldier gear. This guy plans on banning abortion. Doesn't matter if it's rape or incest uh, it, across the board. This guy is an extremist in every sense of the definition. He, he's, he's for violence. He's for being against human rights. He's against constitutional rights. It, it, it's plain to see who Doug Mastriano is. It, it, it's not, he's not there to confuse us. He lets us know, okay? So that's the good thing. But in a rigged two-party system, his opposition is still a right-wing choice in Josh Shapiro. You know, the guy, I mean, they, they, they push a little bit up against the progressive moniker. They, they, they give us a little bit of tidbits for the working class. You know, uh, you know it, it's never enough. Um, it, it, liberalism is based in austerity against the working class. And yet, this guy, Josh Shapiro, who is running against this literal American Nazi, is the superior candidate. And this is why we... We, we have trouble getting to the center. This is why we try, we have trouble getting into uh, the, the center left of the political body because you have this rigged two-party system of center-right Democrats and insane far-right Republicans. And, 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 and you know, there's, there's just a sliding point between those two margins, right? And, and the guy, you know... Uh, running against the fascist, you know, it is just the guy you have to vote for in a rigged two-party system. You do not want the Doug Mastrianos of the world to win elections. But you see how they keep us frozen? You see how the only two viable options are center-right and far-right? And, and if I want to give the benefit of the doubt to Democrats like Josh Shapiro, who I will likely vote for, they lean centrist on occasion, but they're center right. They believe in right wing libertarian economics. They believe in austerity for the working class. They believe in right wing politics and economics. Okay. Just not far right. Maybe Reagan esque Democrats however you want to coin it, however you want to phrase it with them. But it's frustrating to know how much progress we need to catch up on, how so far behind we are uh, in this country, opposed to other Western nations when it comes to, uh, you know, health care, when it comes to affordable health care, free health care. Uh, when it comes to uh, stagnant wages, when it comes to college debt relief, which I'm glad we've gotten a little bit of, um, when it comes to so many things, 
it's so hard to make progress when you have these two factions of center right versus far right and the center right candidate is almost godlike in comparison because the far right candidate is so insane. I wish I wasn't aware some days, but that's the way it is.